It's 30 days of glory 2020. So we have the proof of the fulfillment of God's promises by the availability of his spirit in our hearts. All of Jesus' work, all of his accomplishment is summarized in the giving of the spirit. So how do I know I belong to Jesus? By his spirit. You can't be a child of God without the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit of God is the proof that you are born of God. It's like saying, this is my father. And when we went for lab tests, the DNA is not the same. How is he my father? So the spirit is the DNA that qualifies or guarantees that you are born of God. No believer has a spirit problem. No believer has a spirit problem. You don't need more spirit. You don't need greater spirit. You don't need more fire. No believer has a spirit problem because he has given us all of his spirit. In the promises of God or in the promise of the spirit, there is the word in you is more direct and stronger than the word upon you. Upon is a description of an aspect of what the spirit gives. You didn't hear that. The spirit upon is a description of an aspect of what the spirit gives. But Ezekiel said, I will put my spirit within you. Upon you by Joel is a language that is only used in the Old Testament. Upon. Upon you simply means you will be inspired and you will minister. You will be inspired and you will minister. That's the meaning of upon. But when it says within you, it means my spirit will share the same nature with your spirit. My spirit will share the same nature with your spirit. In other words, he is saying, when I give you my spirit, nobody will be able to differentiate between my spirit and your spirit. In other words, my nature will now be called the spirit of God. My own nature as Abel who has received the spirit, my nature now is the spirit of God. That is, the nature will come from God. The word spirit and the word life will mean the same thing. So when he said, I will put my spirit within you, what he was actually saying is, I will put my life within you. The spirit of God is the life of God. I will put my life within you. Or when he says, or when you say the spirit of God, you're actually saying the life of God. In you is stronger than upon you. Because if it's in you, it will come upon you. If it's in you, it will come upon you. But it can come upon you without being in you. But if it's in you, it will come upon you. <clears throat> so it's a stronger word to say, I will put my spirit within you. That tells you that the man who is saved has the nature of God. Or as God, because he came from God. The man that is born again, the man that is saved, came from God. 